Are you putting your fly rod together the wrong way? Hi everyone and welcome to a new episode of Two Minutes Monday. In today's episode we are going to take a closer look on how you can put your fly rod together in the right way. If you are new to this channel my name is Carl from Go Fly Fishing and on this channel you can expect to see fly fishing vlogs where we are targeting different species caught on a fly rod, product reuse, fly tying, tips and tricks and information about fly fishing, so if you are into fly fishing, please hit the subscribe button and consider hitting the bell so you get notified when we're uploading a new video. The goal of this channel is to upload at least one video every week. And for those of you that has already subscribed to the channel, thank you, you are the best. So I see many people that are new to fly fishing. Uh, they learn to put their fly rod together in a wrong way. And believe it or not, Many experienced fly fishermen do it as well. This video is not by any how meant to offend anybody uh, and that I believe that I'm smarter than uh, all the others. It is just that when I started with fly fishing, I also put my fly rod together uh, wrong in the start. And I was very pleased when uh, a fellow fly fisherman came over to me and gave me an advice that was easier. And of course the right way to put your fly rod together. So, this tip is for those of you that has fly rods in that is divided in different pieces. If you have a fly rod that is only divided in two pieces, well, then it's very easy to assemble. But to show you today, I'm having one of my rods that is a nine foot seven rod that comes in four pieces. And of course you start by attaching the reel to the rod. That is very essential. And what I do next is that I always start with the tip of the fly rod and then I connect it to the third section of the fly rod. What I see people are doing wrong out there is that they start with the butt section of the rod and when you're starting with the butt section of the rod connecting it to the second piece then you have to leave your fly rod on the ground and you have to go over here to connect the third and the fourth uh, piece. And just, let's just be honest guys, that's not the easiest way to assemble uh, your rod. When you're starting with the tip of your fly rod, going to the third section here, you create a workspace in the middle here that is very comfortable to work in and you will have a better grip uh, on the different uh, pieces, mounting them together. And imagine if you're out in a boat or in a canoe and you're going to uh, put your fly rod together. Then you can just sit in the same position, very easy, very comfortable. And of course, this is the right way to put your fly rod together. I'm pretty sure that most of you out there are putting your fly rod together the right way. Uh, but for those of you that haven't done it this way, hopefully this video has been uh, helpful for you. I want to thank you for watching this episode of Two Minutes Monday. Next Monday, we're going to do a product for you of a product that will help us when we are moving from one fishing spot to another. So if you don't want to miss out on that, hit the notification bell so you get notified when we're uploading the video. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing you in a future video. And remember, always go fly fishing.